All right, so we are about 130 yards out. Little bit of a breeze. It's my first swing of the day, a little chilly. Okay. And what do you want me thinking about this shot here? Those things straight away are crucial. Okay. Little bit of a breeze, perfect. Damp. Green is pointing towards us. This ball is, if you strike this anywhere on those grooves with a slight amount of friction and pace on it, this ball is going to spin. Yep. So straight away, you mentioned on the previous test that spin was important to you. You like to see it. It's probably a satisfying thing to see. Yep. But a lot of golfers, and you have to look at the right things here, and a shot like this with a pitching wedge or a nine iron with a wind slightly into off the left, it's going to spin. Right. The green's pointing towards us. You can't take that as a reader. Right. So let's look at, and it's going to be hard to see because of the sun, but let's look at the ball and the descent angle. That's what I'm interested in. Okay. And, what we're, and we're going to go up to the green to check this out, and we'll take the viewers up with us. Pitch marks on the green, and where is the pitch mark in relation to right. where the ball has landed? Right. That's important. Because yep. what that tells us is, has this thing come down and descended and just stopped, or has it actually come down with a bit of backspin? Yeah. Okay? okay. So go first. Let's start with the TP5X. Okay. What club have you got? I got my pitching wedge. Okay, just I'd say just off the left, hit a nice pitching wedge. First swing and of the day. And this is probably going to be relatable because this is my first swing. I'm not, I'm not going to hit everyone solid. No. Nope. But that's a part of the testing process, Correct. right? Yeah. Because that's real. All right. Yeah, good. Do so you appreciate this a little? I'm going to put this mid back of my stance a little. That's where I like to hit my clubs if I can with my irons. Great golf shot. I mean, first swing of the day, who is this guy? Yeah. Should I wake up at four more often? Is that short or is that on? I it's can't money. tell. It's money. I mean, okay. you are seriously tough judge of yourself <laughs> if you think that's short. So look. I can't tell. The interesting part is that has landed. Great strike, good golf shot, good speed. You can do this test anywhere from, like, I like to hit. When I hit, and again, I'm being honest with myself, honest with you. If I hit a lob wedge, and I call it 50%, but it's basically three o'clock, or nine o'clock on a clock yeah. face, this is 12, yeah. through to three o'clock. And if I give it 50%, lob wedge, 50 yards. If I go 50% with a bit of speed, 70 yards. That 50% with a bit of speed, 70 yards is my number where I'd want to see a bit of grab, okay? Bit of spin. This golf shot, you just hit a beautiful, nice flowing pitching wedge. Forget the flag, you keep getting hooked into, is yeah. that, Forget we're golf ball testing. Yeah. We're not shot testing. Yeah. Even if we're shot testing, that's pretty good. It landed on a slight upslope, and it did not shoot back. We will okay. go up and have a look at the pitch mark. Okay, cool. But that did not shoot back. Sweet. This ball, I'll tell you now before we go into it, if you hit the same shot, we're going to see a bit of shoot back. Okay. okay. So this is the... Five. This is the TP5. And again, that is the black number? Black number, okay. which you said you didn't feel looked as premium as the red. Yeah, I like the red number, just the look of it. But that's massive. But yeah. obviously now, I don't know if you've heard, and this is another good little one for people out there, the My Symbol program, how you yeah. can actually put a logo on it yeah. rather than, you can change the color We're of that. We're doing that soon with uh, Partrain. There so. you go, there you go. All right. I'll tell you what, I am well impressed with the way you're hitting this. Okay, interesting. Look at the ball, don't look down. Yeah. Landed in the shadow, spun back. You okay. hit it on almost exactly the same line, which is fantastic. This is great for the people at home. I'm back. <laughs> He's I was a player. Like, He's a I'm, player. I'm not gonna lie, I'm driving down at 5 a.m. I'm like, shit, if I'm hitting this all over the place, it's not gonna be good for testing. It went higher. Well, yeah. How am I judging it's that? Because I looked up and couldn't see because it was through the sun. Yeah, it did go the higher. The ball before was not through the sun. Yeah. The divots are consistent. All of this is information to you, yeah. all of it. Ball position, you said before you hit the first one, I liked him a wedge with the ball back a bit. I said nothing. I made sure the second one had the same ball position. It did, kudos to you. Okay. But I can tell you now, we don't even have to walk up unless we want to, we can do it at the end. But basically looking at spin, that ball landed and spun a bit more. Now the reason you're getting away with that as a test, you've hit it into the exact same quadrant as the first ball. Yeah. If one was on the left, we might start to get a bit of deviation in our test. Yeah. But the fact is, I'd even be looking at lie angle on your irons here, because if you are aiming at the flag, they've gone a little bit right, so the irons might be a bit flat. That's a whole nother video. We don't okay. need to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it three times. What I would expect to see here, and this is why 
I want you to maybe embrace TP5. I'm going to maybe ruin a couple of answers because I don't know if you're going to hit me as good a shot as that. Yeah. This ball is not going to go as far as the TP5. Okay. The five layers with the speed you have, you're getting a bit more distance out of it. Yeah. Everybody loves more so distance. So I got to make sure I swing the exact Don't same speed. Don't start killing this thing. Yeah. Let's start by giving ourselves a fresh lie. Okay. Now I can tell from the fresh lie if you do actually give us a fair test. Okay. So this is your TP5. This is your tour response. Okay. Oh, I chunked it. There was too bit. much heat on that. Too much pressure. <laughs> I know. Don't even look at that one. That's, that's the only one you're giving energy to. That's the only one you're giving energy to. Stop looking at that one. There you go. Fantastic. Nice and high. A little bit further left. It's your shortest of the three. Had the most spin on it. Fantastic golf shot, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Highest. Yep. Higher than the sun. Again, we're judging it off the sun. It's not a track, man. It's right. not shortest most spin as it landed okay so think about that as we move to our next station i don't feel like we need to walk up we may at the end of this video take you up there i'll let you run your own video show here evan yeah. but if you want to walk up there and have a look we can we have to get more clubs so we can but the point is you're going to have three pitch marks we can see it from here tp5x didn't come back as much and they've all landed on a slope on exactly the same point tp5 flew further came back not as far yeah. Tour response didn't quite fly as far and zipped. Yeah. I get it. You love that you just zipped a golf ball back from 130. But yards. actually, I don't love, I actually like when it sticks where my mark is. So I'm telling you, TP5, you need to start to embrace. Okay. Another reason for that this is a 770. A 770 head doesn't spin as much as an MC. Okay. Yeah. So if I started putting you into TP5X with this head, because it's designed to launch higher and spin less. Anytime you're hitting golf shots and you want yardage, it's about peak height, it's about descent, and it's about launch. Is it true that the P770 actually goes higher than the 790s? Uh, I heard that from someone that did a fitting. It might be specific to the it person, It would all depend yeah. how the club is set up. With yeah. a KBS 130X like this, this puppy ain't gonna be designed to go particularly high, right. which is kudos to you, or you are returning the club with a little bit more dynamic loft. Again. That's maybe a whole yeah. different video. Yeah. But if we're just on this and we're just looking at those results now, those golf balls have lined up exactly how I'd want to see it. Absolute perfect demonstration for this. Well done. Now look at this. There's the third shot. And All by right. the way, it, four, four swings, four grades. We should just point that out, but keep going. <laughs> <laughs> There's your third shot. Here's the interesting points. Tour response, TP5, TP5X. Now look, this is an upslope. All right, I'm cool with that. I'm going to mark this so people can see it. We're going to do our pitch marks. Yep. The 5X flew the furthest, landed there, spun to there. The 5, and you have to, it's tough to exactly tell which one is which yeah. here, but I think the tour response most likely, and it doesn't matter really, because you've got one pitch mark there and one pitch mark there, okay? This is what's Either important. Either way, that's a long, a lot more spin than that one. Exactly, and, right. you, can, and you can do it. It's one, two three, four. So it's four paces to here, yep. and it's two paces to the pitch mark of the TP5. Yeah. This is, they've landed within a foot. Fantastic, well done, tester, love it. But you've got more spin from it. So you can tell from that, a difference would have been in peak height and a difference would have been in the spin on the golf ball. Perfect example. Maybe it's something you like, maybe it's something you don't. But yeah. you've almost, you're almost carrying enough speed to get a bit more yardage, because it will make an impact as we go, and you can see I'm holding them now into some long irons. Yep. Let's go check that out. And look, I might not have you hit many shots here, because this is now extremely testing. 218 slope to that flag. So it's a long way. Yeah. All right, I've given you, I've got a four, a five, and a rescue here. Okay. You can do this next piece with any of these. I'm not bothered if they hit the green or they don't. The green, like as we've said, it's the same green, that's worth pointing out. It, it looks like a mile away. It's flat though, notice that. <laughs> That's also yeah. important when you test, yep. test golf balls. Find okay. a golf hole that is flat. Okay. Don't go onto one where you're hitting up or down because we want to see, if we do see landing, we want to see it. Tough because it's into the morning sun. But you said 218, 218, 218. is what you said. Uh, do you want to hit four or do you want to hit rescue? Um, what do you think's a better test for this? It doesn't matter as long as you hit okay. with the same clubs. I'll give uh, you the I'll four. Hit the four. Okay, so start off with the 
Start off with the X for me, will you? Okay. So there's the X, the red number that you like. Give yourself a decent like. All right, what I'm looking for and what I want you to think about as a player, I want you to think about launch. I want you to look at the ball in the air. We've got a nice tree framing the green here, so I want yep. you to look at the peak height. And if you can see it in this sun, I want you to think about descent angle. But you're going to see similar things. This is going to come out probably a little further. It do, it's the least spinning golf ball, using an iron head that doesn't spin massive amounts. But you might see a difference in launch as well. Okay. But you have to be honest with yourself. Did you put a good swing on them? Did you put a good move on them? So let's start. Don't overthink it. Okay. Hit me this a nice ball, X. Ryan. It's pretty good for me. Great golf shot. Tell me something about what you thought first before I start talking. That was like a really nice penetrating, because I have the tendency to really balloon them, right? I know this is a four iron, but still, I can hit this pretty high. That was a little bit more, that's like a, I think that's what you want in a four iron right there. So why do you think it's more penetrating? Less spin. Came out like a bullet. Yeah. Came out low, came out fast. That's yeah. TP5X. Okay. You have, if you have speed, I'm not saying you got enough speed for 130Xs. Let's just get that on there. <laughs> but if you have speed, you can play this ball. What we've done now, we've unlocked this golf ball as an option for you. Yeah. So now we got a choice of three. Yeah. I don't mind if you take any of the three, but you have to understand, I'm liking TP5 and TP5X more because there are five layers and there is more tech for you to leverage as you try and advance your game. No one wants their game to be in the same place. You've got it where you've got it with Tour Response. And that's a great ball. And if you're price conscious, that's a great place to go because you get the feel. Right. But that thing's going to spin and balloon. If this was into a bit of draft or we're playing in Scotland or somewhere, that ball is spinning and not helping you. Yeah. But you're using an iron that can counter that. This ball, let's hit it, could be money. This is the TP5. It's going to be softer. It yeah. might not come out as fast, but it's going to be good. Okay. If you can perform the same trick twice and hit me a nice <laughs> four iron. So a little pull, which brings the ball flight down. Remember, a pull yeah. shot brings the ball flight down. It's hit now, that. Obviously, it didn't hit that as good. I, I pull hooked that. Be honest. You pull hooked it, but it almost had the same peak height as the TP5X. Yeah. So it's flying higher. Yeah, that's true. That's good. It's almost gone as far. So it's got more spin on it. Because any time you pull hook one, it doesn't spin as much. And yeah. let's be honest, pull hook, you miss the green with a four iron by 10 yards left and you play off a handicap of six or eight. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I'm establishing from this, you can partner me in anything, I'm not playing against you. Because yeah. you get too, get too good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tour response, this thing's going to be a bit more spinny. Okay. Look how high it's gone. You've hit the cut, you've aimed right, and then you've cut it. So be honest with it, you're deeper on it, because yeah. you've got a divot now. So it's a different path to the other ones. Yeah. It's gone a lot higher. It's gone a lot more spinny. You could see it, and you'll have to trust us on this. The peak, the descent angle was steep. Yeah, way And the sound higher. was softer. Yeah. It's gone shorter, yeah. but you've had more control. It's so funny, Trotty, how when you hit one good, and obviously people that play blades love this the most because it's the softest face, it's forged face. But when you hit it good and you feel the soft ball up against the face, it gets you going a little bit, right? But this is, I think, good for the for our, our viewers here because that might not, it might feel good, but that might not be good for me. But it is, it's important that you recognize, like Colin Morikawa, it's important that you recognize what you like. Let's hit this one again, all right? Also, I should have you around with me at all times. I mean, those are <laughs> <laughs> Let's those hit are this one again before right I say there. anything else. So this is the... Don't worry, hit it. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is allowed, by the way. Let's go again. That's what I wanted to see. Right, look at the peak height, look at the descent. Yep. How'd it feel? That felt a little clickier. You hit it low in the blade. Yeah, low. And went a little bit high and right, but it's still, still an okay let's shot. Let's be honest with you, it's a great good. shot. Yeah. You hit a four iron. Yeah. It's a great shot. Yeah. yeah. That, I would imagine when we get up there, has gone a little bit further than the tour response. Okay. Wasn't hit as pure, didn't get as good a turf interaction. That was the TP5. If okay. you'd have hit the X on that, it would have been more clicky again. 
for me, you're giving me as a fitter the answers, and I think you would get there yourself as we go back to the T block to have a look at the final piece. Okay. But the bottom line is the TP5 is going to open up more avenues, like I keep saying, because it's got five layers. Different speeds is going to give you more shots. Let me ask you on this real quick, because you say might as well play the ball with more tech. But I think a lot of golfers are like, what does that mean, and do I, what, how does that tech help me? Do I need the tech? Would I see the difference in the tech? Depends what your goals are as a player. Okay. You're you losing yardage on tour response right now because yeah. you've got enough speed to use TP5. That's your diagnosis. So that's a great takeaway, is if you have enough speed, if you're playing the tour response, more spinny, lose yardage. Yeah, and I think okay. if you'd have been playing TP5 for a year and a bit, I could have persuaded you a little more to play TP5X. It's not a better ball, but as we move back there, we'll see a couple of things with TP5X versus TP5. Okay. But you can also, and I don't want to be a spoiler, you can also change it if you understand how to fit a driver. So okay. let's go back there. All right, let's do it. Now it's the last phase. And this is the easiest. Oh, okay. And this is where everyone starts. And this is, that's completely wrong. Everyone does it off a check and spin, and then they come here and they try and hit the crap out of it. And they're like, oh. let me tell you now, if you get the right launch, the right spin, the right peak height and the right descent angle, you can hit pretty much all of these balls similar distances to the yep. point where you would be like, so I can adjust this, which is a tour truck in my pocket effectively. I can change the loft, I yeah. can change the lie angle, I can change the T height, which changes how it's gonna launch because the center of gravity of this club in relation to the CG of the ball to give me numbers. I can talk to you as the user about club delivery. I yep. can change the shaft, which will change the dynamic loft as you come through and also change the feel that will all give me the best results for each one of these. So this section is pretty much pointless because what I would do is change this to match whatever you choose to give oh. you the results you want. Interesting. I can okay. watch you hit driver, but I can tell you now, this is not efficient for what I've seen so far for you as a golfer. Okay. This I'm okay with because I've already told you I want you to swing your driver hard. Way too much loft, which is gonna give you far too much spin, especially compared with tour response. It's gonna land and not give you any run out. You are playing a very conservative, safe driver for your game. That is what a three wood is for. Yeah. You're carrying two three woods. I've not even seen you hit this. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, it's not strong enough. You can see from the strikes in the blade, some of them are high, you yeah. get a little steep. Yeah. So I'd work on that with you as a player. I'd yeah. get you a bit shallower. Yeah. That's why you hit the four iron with a divot before, because you were steep. Yeah. You think that's a good result. It was a bit steep. That's got why it. you hit fantastic nine iron and wedges, because you're lovely passes on them, because the shaft is shorter, lovely. Yeah. Your golf game, you're good with short to mid irons. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. Because the way you deliver the golf club yeah. and you're using a ball that spins too much for yeah. you because you've got too much speed. Interesting. So what I would do is work you into a TP5 and then I'd, I'd change this. I'd get less loft and get more power out of it. The less loft we have at impact, the higher the energy transferred to the ball. The higher the energy transferred to the ball, the more speed we get. Providing our launch and spin is correct, you get more yardage. Strokes gained, all the analytics. If you can hit this further down there, you're going in with less club you're gonna hit it closer to the hole. So what you're basically saying is, because remember the first, first I told you, the only way I've ever been able to tell a difference with my golf ball is if it spins on an approach shot or not, right? The only other way, I should have said two, the only other way is if it's flying farther and I can actually tell. But you're saying with the driver, it's actually not as important to decide your change ball Change the driver. I change, I change the spec. This has got way too much loft on it. The, but for the, the average player, that's not going to change their driver. TP5X is going to win in this scenario because it's not going to spin as much for someone who's using a driver that's got going to spin it too much. Yeah. And they're steep on it because I've already seen that. And you hit fade with spin. Yeah. We'll get the ball that spins the least, TP5X. Yeah. So this then, if you're not going to change this, you're now in a decision between TP5 Which, by the way, like, let's TP5. set up a kingdom appointment, and I, I want to make sure, because I, I think this is like every golfer's, like, we geek out over this, right? Because it's like, oh, my God, I've been, I've been doing it wrong with my equipment. 
which is a whole nother thing. I know you do a lot of You're great content You're definitely on that. doing it wrong with your equipment. That okay. to me is one of the biggest things that's come out of this video. Yeah. Your equipment is very wrong. <laughs> well, maybe a follow-up. <laughs> of course. Kingdom, but, okay. but the bottom line is that we can go through this test. It's going to be hard to tell because we're into the sun. And I don't know if golfers will see it. But the best golf ball here for that setup and the way in which I've seen you swing it already is going to be the TP5X. Yeah. But from your, and you have to be honest, from your feedback and what we've gone through, the ball that you would go for if you weren't going to change that you would switch out the tour response and you'd start to embrace the TP5. Because again, it would bring in more for you, the golfer, based in this scenario. Then, if you have an understanding of your equipment, which you should have, because you're now down the rabbit hole of trying to figure out which ball you want, you would then move this towards lower, one or two clicks to take a bit of spin off. Because right. if you take some spin off, you gain some yardage. Right. That's it in a nutshell. Okay. And you're so using a head that spins the max will spin more than the original sim too. So you said, if I keep the driver, you play a TP5X. No, in that setting, what I would do if you want to play TP5 and keep the driver is move it towards lower. Okay. But help me understand, I'm trying to understand the difference spin. between the five and the X. You were saying if I change my equipment, you would go, like if everything's optimal and I get in the right stuff and I change my loft and I get it in the right setup, X, I can fit either driver. I can fit yeah. either ball. So we would look out there. We look to how we score to decide which ball we're going to play. And I still think you'd go to five. Okay. Right now, today. But I'm bringing it from a history of using tool response. Yeah. I think the X is a big step for you because I think that as we're playing soft, wet because conditions. Because X is the least. Least spinning ball. So you're saying instead of going clock, far opposite side of the correct. spectrum spin, you you're go, not, you're you'd start an, me with the TP5. You're not an uber high spin player, and you've already said in this video, I like to see a bit of spin. I like so so why would I put you in yeah. a ball? Like I don't like to see spin. I'm a high spin player. Yeah. I like X. I like it to feel hard. Yeah. I like a putter that feels hard. I like all the things Got that point it. me to what I like speed off the driver. I like playing not a lot of loft and getting the energy transfer. Like I hit it a long way for my height because I don't use much loft, and I'm using a ball that's quick off the blade. Okay. You're losing yardage by using a 10.5 driver because you're, you've not got, you're not delivering it the way in which you need to to get the spin out of it. Yeah. So we can okay. see some of these go by all means, but I think for me, now I'd wrench the driver and put that, start with the tour response. Okay. But I would wrench the driver and I would move some of the loft off and then we should probably do that today before you leave. Yeah. <sighs> Look at the spin. You can see it straight away. Yeah. Out to the right, a shed load of spin. Yeah. Not a bad hit, backed up on it a little bit. Yeah. So I was surprised to see that shot. I thought we had a chance there of you getting it high out the blade. Yeah. But that could be, you know, you're a golfer. You could be reacting to how you play it. But that was backed up and held off. Yeah. Loads of spin. That did not go very far. Yeah. So straight away in a fitting scenario, I'm moving that driver down in loft. You're going to see the best results here at TP5X, I guarantee you. This is going to be okay. Okay. But if I turn the loft down on this, this TP5 is going to be better. Look at everything though, look. Ball position is a long way back. You've played everything a long way back. Why do you think that is? Trying to take spin down. You figured it out. Yeah. So how do you take spin it's so down? It's funny, I'm just doing that unconsciously. Everyone figures it out. Yeah. Because we're all playing enough and we all, we don't give ourselves enough credit. We figure it out. Yeah, that's a good point. You're losing speed by doing this, by the way. Don't move it forward now. Kay. I'm just giving you, but you're losing speed. You're losing energy. <sighs> There's the ball flight though. That was yeah, low, low, over the top, spinny. Yeah. Why are you marking it out of here? You're steep and hitting it left. This is like our fingerprint. It tells us so much. Yeah. It's, He's pointing to the top right of the yeah. toe. Which is why which right is where here, my ball marks have been. Right here today, that's the ball for you. You didn't hit either of those very good. No. But if you were to hit this properly, this ball will give you the most for a driver that's inefficient. Which is why I was unsure whether I'd even let you hit these because it's like the conclusion is get fit for your driver. Yeah. On this. You've already <laughs> yeah. decided on what, what ball you should play. And for you, I'd let you take more time to decide that. But it's yeah. TP5 or tour response. All right, well, and get a driver fitting. With telling me that I should hit a TP5X, watch me hit this one the best. 
turned it over, flat a ball flight, just in play down the left. Yeah, none of these were very good, but... None of them are very good, but that's the best result for yardage. But again, I wouldn't have let you hit them if it wasn't for the camera. Yeah. I'd have changed the setting. You're going to change that setting before I leave today anyway. Okay. <laughs> and you're going to play TP5. And that's the point of this station when it comes to testing a golf ball. It's not that it's irrelevant, because it's very relevant. Yeah. But it's this, not this. Okay. Which people might be like, what? I'm telling you, get that set up correctly. And we should almost do that. We'll go and get a wrench. We'll move that. And then, well, you can do a follow-up. Hit yeah. balls with less loft on it, and you'll see the correct yardage come out of that, out of the TP5. So the decision today is TP5 moving to eventually potentially playing TP5X once I get stuff in my setup fixed. It would depend how the fitting went okay. if I'd move you into a TP5X. Okay. But I think the main takeaway for people, because I want to give them a clear takeaway, is if I have speed... Which you have a little bit. Yeah. You have enough speed have for, enough the, for the five-layer golf ball. Okay. Absolutely. So if you have enough speed, the tour response, and you're already creating spin, the tour response is going to spin too much. Tour response is hurting you. Tour response is great if you can't get the spin you can get. Yeah. But you can spin a golf ball. You yeah. can compress a golf ball. Yeah. You should be in a TP5 or a TP5X. You should be. Okay. And because you've spent so long in tour response, you like that soft feel. Some of the things you've said throughout this video put you into a TP5. Sweet. Can we go X? We can, but I don't think it's what you like right now. Because of the clickiness and the feel. Correct. Got it. So I guess what you're saying is it's a combination of, it's not just cut or dry, that's the ball for you. You have to listen to yourself of what actually you like, 100%. which I think is probably a takeaway that most golfers aren't listening to. Exactly. They probably think they're not good enough to decide and they just need someone to tell them what's the ball for them. And stop trying to guide driver. Driver is a club that you should smash miles. Yeah. It is not a second three wood. Yeah. You're using a ball set up as a second three wood. A driver with a ball set up as a second three wood. What are you doing? Yeah. If you hit drive and you hit it good, it should be 50 yards past your three wood. And yep. yours isn't, I can tell you now it's not. Yeah. It's a fail, a flail to the right that goes with a poor steep descent angle that doesn't give you the yardage. Yeah. Fact, maybe not what you want to hear. No, I think it's helpful. I think this is going to help a lot of people. I do too. I think if you own it yourself and you're honest with yourself, you get yourself in a great spot. Yeah. I think I think about spin a little differently after this. It's not just to check. It's not just to spin back. Absolutely can I think help you. Yardage actually is something that I didn't think about with figuring out what golf ball to use. But because you're giving yardage, up massive yardage. Yeah, because yardage is a reflection of spin. Yeah. Right? And because you hit it steep and strong with speed, you overspin the tour response and you lose yardage. Looks pretty because you think it's spinning back 15 feet, yeah. but it's hurting you. Interesting. All right, guys. Well, thank you for hopping aboard. Check out Trotty Golf's channel um, and give us a subscribe and like the video and comment with questions because who knows, maybe we should do a follow up and, and do more videos as I get this fitted and, and everything from there. So thanks for hopping aboard. Top man. Thanks my man. Thank you.